So today we're talking about universal health care. It's going to be a little different than our other videos about it are. I kind of wanted to slam dunk on this silly PragerU video I saw comparing America's health care to Canadians. They've recently been accepted into Florida curriculum in, in their schools. So I thought this would be a good way to see what our kids are learning nowadays. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's get into the video. Canada has a universal government-run health care system. This means that Canadians have fewer options for treatment and wait longer for medical care than people in other advanced countries. Instead of paying each time to see their doctor, all Canadians pay high taxes to fund the whole system. Okay, so off rip, they're being pretty dishonest here. I mean, first off, the belief that countries with universal health care have longer wait times is false. Plenty of countries with socialized health care beat out America in numerous metrics pertaining to their wait time or the getting of treatments. Canada itself kind of has a unique issue of America poaching, if you will, their doctors, um, as the privatized system here allows them to make a lot more profits. You'll see Canadians taking advantage of the cheap education over there and then crossing over here in attempts to maximize the amount of money that they could make. It's hilarious that they they brought up the high taxes. Let's talk about debts and how much people are paying for their health care because even with those high taxes, they're paying less in most instances under half as much less as the average American are for their health care. And again, everyone there gets the care unlike here. Marcel wonders why his dad and uncle don't talk very much. Recently, his mom explained that they started arguing after Grandpa Henri died from stomach cancer. Jacques thinks that if Henri had traveled to the United States to see a specialist and have surgery instead of waiting in Canada, he would still be alive. Okay, again, Canada has triage just like America. If it's life or death, you're in there instantly, and they do not have these extensive wait times for their emergency services. It's only non-emergency services you're going to see wait times. If he went to America, he would have at best ended up head over heels in debt with little to no chance of ever breaking even in life, probably having to work away as a slave to a capitalist of sixth system, you know, exactly what America wants or at worst he would have been denied the care as he couldn't afford it or subjected to different paywalls he was stuck behind and had to wait longer and longer and longer and went further and further in debt American health care is privatized which means that in most cases people and their employers pay for it not the government American health care is very expensive but the quality of care is among the highest in the world unlike Canada the U.S. has a higher number of specialist doctors compared to general practitioners. Okay, so this one is just wild misinformation. I'm going to put this graphic on the screen. This is the top 10 countries by quality of healthcare. USA is not in it. And all 10 that are in it have universal health care. I wonder why. And funny enough, if we look at this other graphic, Canada is ranked ahead of America on every ranking. Again. Hmm, wonder why. And yeah, USA has more doctors than Canada by totality because we're a huge fucking country. We only beat Canada in doctors per capita by 0.2. Uh, yeah, and we get shit on by other nations with socialized healthcare. Cuba has the most. So uh, what, what's, what's the point here? The smallest bit of actual research can debunk pretty much anything these right-wing morons say. Marcel is discovering that free healthcare comes with hidden costs. In a healthcare system paid for by taxes, there's a limited number of doctors, hospitals, and high-tech machines. Because no one can pay for their own machines or medical treatment, the real cost is having to wait a very long time. Okay, again, per capita, USA is barely above Canada and is super low on the list in terms of hospital beds per 1,000 people. Looking in totality is a disingenuous way to look at things that are always going to favor the bigger country. And, and the only issues that we generally see in these socialized, public, free, taxpayer healthcare systems come with lack of funding, either from an economic standpoint of the country itself or the government within the country itself doing it in hopes to privatize it further down the line with america's ability to fund its medical systems these issues would be non-existent here okay i think we're gonna 
in there. I don't want to give too much glory to this PragerU video. It was a lot to take in at once. I just, I just thought this would be a different way to take a look at universal healthcare today and, and dispel a bit of the misinformation being spread and to show you the kind of things that Ron DeSantis is allowing to be taught in schools in Florida. If you enjoyed this video, we are Social Society. We are a commentary channel influenced by politics, economy, and all things happening in the society. We get a touch bit philosophical and like to touch on the psychology of things as well. We are left-leaning, but we're open to our right-wingers as well. The biggest thing on this channel is having conversations that get to the bottom of the truth. If that sounds like something that interests you, consider smashing the subscribe button, leaving us a like, or commenting on this video, because the only way we become a society together. Peace.